And there's another reason U.S. officials are worried about Iran right now. There are growing concerns that Iran or its surrogates might launch attacks against Jewish targets here in the U.S. Our Brian Todd is looking into that. Candy, at least one group that's been targeted in the past by the Iranians in other countries is aware of this possible threat and taking its own measures. Will Jewish facilities have a police presence at their curbs for the foreseeable future? Jewish leaders tell us they're boosting their security, and for good reason. With talk of a possible Israeli strike against Iran's nuclear facilities, there's new concern about how Iran might retaliate, maybe by using its proxies like the terrorist group Hezbollah. What's Iran's capability of doing damage inside the United States? You know, that's actually very difficult to give you a clear, concrete answer to, but we do know that Hezbollah does have uh, its footprints and, and a uh, they have a role and uh, have had a presence in the United States in the broader Americas. Frank Salufo, former Homeland Security aide to President Bush, says there are also criminal enterprises in the U.S. which Iran could tap into to carry out an attack. Experts say synagogues, Jewish community centers, and schools are soft targets. This joint Homeland Security and FBI bulletin sent last week to law enforcement agencies says that violent extremist groups have long advocated attacking places like this. But it also says, as of last week, there was no specific threat to Jewish organizations inside the United States stemming from those recent tensions with Iran. A Homeland Security official says there's been no change in that assessment since then. But I asked one woman about the threat as kids were let out at this synagogue. Places like this are sometimes considered soft targets. Are you concerned about that? Of course I am because I, I work in the community and I worry as not only as an individual but also as a Jewish woman. Homeland Security Secretary Janet Napolitano says her agency is monitoring the Hezbollah threat. We are uh, reaching out to uh, particularly Jewish, uh, the Jewish community across the country who uh, have been the, the intended targets in the past. Iran has proven it can launch deadly strikes on foreign soil, bombing Jewish targets in Argentina, assassinating a former Iranian prime minister in Paris. U.S. officials say with their backs against the wall, the Iranians may again make a bold stroke, like their alleged plot to assassinate the Saudi ambassador in Washington. But former CIA officer Ruel Garrett, who tracked Iranian operations, says that episode shows the regime can also bungle these plots. Well, even when the Iranians have succeeded in the past with terrorist strikes, uh, and they have often succeeded, uh, I don't know of a one where we haven't recognized them. Garek says the Iranians may have sleeper cells inside the U.S., but he says it might take them a while to get those cells operational to carry out an attack. He says for that reason, if Iran is attacked, look for there to be some lag time between that and a possible retaliatory strike, Candy. But, but there is some way that more immediately the U.S. could strike against... Uh, U.S. interests, at least. That's right. Iran could do that. Uh, Rule Grech says that uh, in the more in the immediate right after an attack, they could try to close the Strait of Hormuz, choking off U.S. oil supplies from the Gulf. He says that would, of course, provoke a, a pretty nasty confrontation with the U.S. military. But it is a way they could hit back right away, and they're right there. They could do that. Ryan Todd, thanks very much. Sure.